She mentioned something about an experiment that Anne Cassavetes was involved in, something called the Echo Project. There was no one in your room. Yes, there was. He has a picture of her in his pocket. That's her. Rachel. When did you see Rachel? All the time. Where? Was she in our house? Sarah, this is really important. Where is Rachel now? I don't want her to get caught. Nothing's going to happen to her, I promise, okay? We're safe here. Now, where is she? It doesn't matter. Just tell me where she is, Sarah. Knock it off. If I have to go to bed, I should at least have a good story for her. Well, that's a very demanding way of asking for something. All I said was, can I have a good story? What's so demanding about that? Well, called being gracious. How about a history story? But you promised me a good story. Well, now, hold on a second. This is a great adventure story. I mean, all, the kind that only grandchildren who are ready for it can hear it. All right. I guess you're right. Maybe we ought to wait for a few years. Right. Where do we begin? Ah, once upon a time, a man named Arthur... You mean King Arthur? No, no. Different story. Uh, not quite back that far in history. Years ago, this was given to me by a very wise man. I believed there was great magic in this coin, and that it would give me everything I needed. Life was wonderful and easy, but when the money disappeared and then you and your mother left, I cursed the medallion for letting me down. But I was wrong. There is great magic in this coin. But you must never lose sight of what's most important. Don't ever risk your family or their happiness. There are more important things than wealth. One day you'll understand living on the streets. All of that was better than living in the same house with my father. <laughs> <laughs> 